If we go down to the woods today, what will we find? Today we are in this deep Scottish woodland to find a rusty relic that has been sat here for probably around 50 years. It's an Opal Olympia from the late 1940s, before the model got a facelift. They aren't a common sight in the UK, and I must confess I am not an expert on the model. From what I found they were first built in 1935 and were named after the Berlin Olympics, which were held the following year. Production ended in 1940 with Opel concentrating on production of war equipment. Car production slowly restarted in 1947. Pre-war models had a 1.3 engine and a two-piece centi-inch bonnet, whilst post-war versions were upgraded with a 1.5 litre engine producing a mighty 37 horsepower and a revised grille and a single-piece bonnet. The Olympia received a facelift from 1950, with a much heavy looking chromed grille. Now I've seen a few videos and articles about this car, and I've wanted to pay a visit for about 12 months now. It is described as being very remote and miles from any road. But I have to debunk that slightly, sorry. It's only a 25 minute or so walk from civilization. And when it was abandoned here years ago, there would probably have been more forestry tracks. Nevertheless, it's still an interesting find, and still a mystery as to why it's still here to this day. I won't be giving away the location, and no one gave me the location either. It would be a shame to have too many people trampling around it. About as much treaders as on my head. Thanks for watching. Oh, and head to the Facebook page for some more photographs.